it's your time. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Onyx here at Going Full Nerd. Hey, it's Sunday, 6 p.m., or reasonably they're close. Therefore, it's time. Because I'm still fly. What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Onyx here, Going Full Nerd. Yo, this is the podcast. This is the place you like showing up. And I appreciate every time you do. So what's happening? I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a short show today. Um, But it's going to be a worthy show because you know what? They're always good. As always, you can call in and leave a message, 202-643-4208. And depending on how I feel, I may or may not pick up. I also ask you to like, share, subscribe. Um, But uh, bottom line, up front, let's get on with the shameless plugs. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, jibber jabber about what we're going to talk about this week. What's happening, low cuts? What's happening, my man Ernest? Yo, I would have answered, but I was in the middle of something. I'll holler at you another time. Call you once I'm done. Anyway, check this out, everybody. We got to do the shameless plug. The shameless plug is something. Somebody made a comment to me, said, yo, I can't listen to the first four minutes of Onyx show because it's all just shameless plugs. Well, that's the part you're supposed to listen to. The shameless plug goes as follows. Please check out the podcast on anchor.fm slash going full nerd. And if you don't want to download the Anchor app, that's fine. You can check out the podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, and Amazon Music. Okay? Also, if you want to go ahead and check out some comic book news, press releases, things like that, check out goingfullnerd.com. If you also want to buy a cool-ass Going Full Nerd shirt like this one, go to goingfullnerd.com, click the links for merchandise, pating, 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 and boom, you will be able to see it. And last but not least, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel that you could be watching this live video on, make sure you go ahead, click the subscribe button, hit the bell, ding, 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 and you'll get notifications whenever I post new material. Okay. I think that, I think that kind of worked out. I think that worked. Did that work? I kept it, I kept it short. Three, three and a half minutes. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, it's it, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. So check this out. This week's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh it's gonna be one of these little ones. Um <laughs> Who says Marvel is too kid friendly? And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of a show that just debuted a couple of days ago called Hellstrom on Hulu. That's right. So let's take it. Let's talk. Let's talk, folks. Let's talk. Okay. People have always talked about the Marvel properties on television and in the movies as being watered down and not taking the more edgy route when it comes to making these televisions and movie shows. Okay. Um, So this week, I had the chance to watch a couple of episodes. I did not finish this streaming series. I'm going to preface it there. I am still watching this. I'm only a couple of episodes in. All right? But it's a Marvel television property called Hellstrom. All right? Um, It's on Hulu. And everyone knows I, I really don't do horror movies. I don't like horror movies, but I figure it's Halloween. We're getting, you know, we're getting close to Halloween. Um, so maybe we could do something scary, you know, just to kind of stay in the mood for the season and all that. But Hellstrom, it had me thinking twice. It's a Marvel property. Boom. I said, let me go ahead and slide up over into it and see what's going down. So let's talk about it. What is Hellstrom? And why is this typical for Marvel Productions? Okay, the reason why I say it's typical is because this is the third or possibly even fourth or fifth tier character to end all third, fourth, fifth tier characters. 
<sighs> Hellstrom is known in the comic books to comic book fans as the son of Satan. All right. The character in the comics from the story premise and his physical look is 100% ridiculous in design. I mean, you know, but literally it was created, you know, in the 70s when monsters and supernatural and all that was really big. You know, so it it is what that is. It, it is. It is. It is. So here's the thing. The comics of the 70s really had a lot, you know, of the supernatural. They had like Werewolf by Night. Blade was real popular. You had this Son of Satan. You had uh, the Living Mummy. You had a lot of Marvel properties. Heck, even back then, Marvel owned the trademark to the word zombie, which is something that you wouldn't think. But, you know, the thing is, this character, Damon Hellstrom, or Son of Satan, as he's known in the comic books, he had um, pretty much a lot of, char- a lot of connections to more popular characters, um, like Ghost Rider, Blade, and most famously, Doctor Strange. Uh, you know, basically the mystical side or the magical side of the Marvel Universe. And I'm not talking about like Thor, or I'm talking about the real trippy magic stuff, like, you know, 1970s Steve Ditko, Doctor Strange, you know, where they had the like real trippy stuff. And uh, Anyway. Now, what about this show? What about Hellstrom? What about it? Well, here goes the problem. This is Marvel's shameful child. And I'm talking, when I talk Marvel, I'm talking Marvel Productions. Okay, so Marvel fans kind of looked at the trailer when it was put out, and a lot of people looked at the, you know, show. And I looked at the show, and they're going to immediately notice one thing. There's something real big different about this show. It's lacking the distinctive Marvel logo that you see in front of a lot of Marvel productions. You know, the bright red with the white Marvel slapped on it and going through, you know how they have like the comic book pages flipping before you watch a show and they play dun, 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 dun. it doesn't have that. Okay? And you've had that on a lot of stuff. Now, ordinarily, you know, normally any Marvel television series, go back to Luke Cage, Daredevil, you know, even uh, Jessica Jones, uh, The Runaways, and all that other stuff, it had that. And, you know, it's been basically a, a steadfast part of it for, you know, since the two, early 2000s, almost 20 years. But here's the thing. Marvel really doesn't want to acknowledge that Hellstrom is part of the Marvel Universe because it's not necessarily on brand. And this is where people kind of go ahead and say, well, maybe Marvel is too kid friendly because the subject matter of Hellstrom. (laughs) It is trippy, trippy, trippy. Okay, Marvel, you know, and um, it's not on brand, but. In light of a few announcements recently, it should be on brand. And this is, and I'm going to get into it, you know. So here's the reason why. And I think it's pre-COVID, pre, you know, Marvel getting a whole bunch of other stuff. But it was commissioned to become a show back in 2019, okay. And since then, they've had a lot of changes over at Marvel uh, Studios. I mean, um. Kevin Feige started, became chief creative officer um, in October. Um, The live action TV stuff has been moved under Marvel Studios. Feige, Disney Plus, you know, they got the money. So they got production values that are real high over what Marvel Television, you know, what Marvel Television, which was the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, and some of that, you know, Hulu productions like Runaways, way above what they had, okay? Way above that. 
So, you know, the previous live action shows, you know, are all done for Marvel television. They just ended Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Runaways, I think, is done. So they got this Hulu show put out. And, you know, Feige has let this one slip through the cracks. And I think it was on purpose. Um, Because the thing is, is with the 10 episodes, I doubt it's going to get um, it's a 10 episode series. I doubt it's going to get a second season. Um, I think Hulu is the place where Marvel stuff goes to die. Uh, <laughs> or they could put the more edgier things and just kind of chill with it. Like, I really think New Mutants will end up on Hulu instead of uh, Disney Plus. But, you know, it is what it is, you know, since Disney does own both streaming platforms. So here's the thing. Because this is more supernatural, dark, you know, and all that stuff, that's why they kind of kept it separate along with the legal stuff about Marvel television kind of folding into the big Marvel Cinematic productions from that are going to go on Disney+. Plus. So that's all the backstory, okay? That's all of the, you know, stuff that goes on. But this is the thing. Even though this is a, may not be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe proper, it leaves me with a question. Why would they want to miss out on this opportunity? Got to drink a little white liquor, a little white liquor today. Mm. Uh, ooh, yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> so here's the thing. It's got the darker tones. Hellstrom is obviously a character that is connected to the mystical side of the Marvel Universe. We've already had Ghost Rider make an appearance on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Marvel Television, but they could have really drug him into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which we were hoping at one point. It, it looked real good on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And, you know, even though we do have rumor control that there will be a female Ghost Rider in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that'll be a first. I don't know what's going on with that. It is what it is. They, we get all sorts of announcements. Who knows what's true, who's not, and what's not true. But here's the thing. The darker tones, and it's obvious not for kids' subject material, you know, I really think Marvel is missing the opportunity to have their um, darker side of the MCU that if theaters ever open back up or if they decide to kind of go and get into um, the, you know, the Hulu and put the more edgier properties on Hulu. I mean, think about it. You can get Ghost Rider. Blade, which they're going to make a Blade movie. I mean, they already announced that. So, you know, vampires, blood sucking. Why not? Okay. Um, you're releasing a Morbius film in conjunction with uh, Sony Pictures. Um, and you could get Ghost Rider, Blade, Morbius, Doctor Strange into this. Um, you know, battling Mephisto or maybe even Dracula. You've already introduced the dark hole in a connected Marvel property, you know, back when it was on agents of shield, you got the props. So why not do this to keep it away from the superheroes, but have it more on the mystical side, have it that scary horror property. Maybe, maybe not. Now it is the thing, but I guess we're not going to hold our breath for, uh, Rising of the Midnight Suns like they did in the comic books. You know, maybe not. Even though you're going to have a lot of the main characters, they already said they're putting it out there. Like I said, Ghost Rider, Mobius, Blade, M Moon Knight. Oh my gosh, man. They are missing an opportunity. A big freaking opportunity. But let's talk about the show a little bit. The show so far, I'm a couple of episodes in. Um, I don't think I'm going to give it a review just yet. I'm going to watch all 10 before I kind of pass judgment on it. But I can say the show is actually giving off those Constantine vibes, not the Keanu Reeves movie Constantine, but the TV show off of NBC, Matt Ryan, Constantine, you know, kind of dark, mystical. It's almost like Constantine meets the exorcist. So, you know, you got these dynamics, you got, uh, Damon Hellstrom, you've got his sister Anna in it, or in the comic book, she's known as Satana. So, you know, a Satana, however you want to say it. You know, uh, a lot of the, the um, 
dynamics from the comic books did make it over. Um, the iconic chest um, birthmark on Damon. Uh, you don't have the flaming hair shirtless running around with the red cape and a pitchfork. I mean, that would be a little bit too much for television, and that's a little bit stupid, which is kind of why I say fourth, fifth tier character. But here's the deal. The series so far, from what I've seen, is kind of blah. Um, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to give it a full, you know, going full nerd review, but it's really taking every ounce of my being, every fiber of my being to try and still watch this. I made it through a couple of episodes, like I said, and I'm not really thrilled. It feels like a third tier horror movie. I think I'd rather go watch a third tier horror movie like Jeepers Creepers or something like that. And, you know, it got that same feeling. But anyway, it is what it is. Short week this week, people. Hey, just kind of put it out there. If you haven't already done so, please make sure you get out there and vote. Make your voice heard. Choose what you think is going to be best for you. And as always, if you can't say anything nice about anybody, don't say it. Just let me know on Twitter. I'll say it for you. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it calm, trying to keep it quiet this week. Short, my Giants won. I'm going to continue to finish celebrating. Mm. And whew, what else as far as announcements? We're going to be starting the gaming streaming. Yes, we're getting there. We're almost at the brand new Xbox. I don't have a pre-order yet. I'm trying to get there. Going to get it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be mine, hopefully. But I'm doing the gaming streaming. I know that the um charity uh stream is on the 7th of november but i may do it push it back a little bit to see if i could get a couple of new games call of duty black ops cold war whatever you want to call it i think i might wait until that comes out or i just might whoop up on my boy Ernest in madden on game day or whatever but that's eight hours of game time you can uh check out on uh Twitter, that's Onyx1969, and you can get the link if you want to donate to Children's Hospital in Washington, D.C. Anyway, that's it. Peace, y'all, and I'm out of here. I still got to figure out what's wrong with the computer. It's been doing some trippy stuff, so I got to reset and uninstall and install a lot of stuff. But we will still get the funky outro music in here. And we will do what we do best. Boom. I can use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But hey, I like I said, if you want to get that, get that T-shirt, I'm going to go do a couple of more. I, I think I'm going to make a few more designs. We're going to see what's up. Hater like you. Hey, I'm sorry that this week's show is a little short, but, you know, hey, that's what happens. We're going to be watching a lot more things. We're actually going to finish Hellstrom. We're going to play a few more video games, and really, I need to take more ideas for the podcast. I got a lot of stuff that I got to read, a lot of stuff I got to do, but I, all of us, we're kind of... Um, we're kind of strung out when it comes to working from home, homeschooling, trying to survive with the new dynamic. But that's cool. We're all going to survive. We're going to do our thing. Peace, y'all. Cause you proved to me yeah. That rising to the top was my destiny yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me But I'm still fly I'm 